Hello fellow heroes, tonight I would like to go with the success we have with the March of Heroes. We raised $400 for the March of Dimes, which is all going to go to local research for premature birth and the after effects of premature birth. <clears throat> the real winner of the day was the March of Dimes with $400, but we also had other winners today as well. Brandon Delazinski flew off with his Poe T70, and Norm Nevins packed up his stuff in his brand new token case, while others like Tim Doughty, Brian, Rob Diamond from Pennsylvania walked out with brand new template sets. We have no plans for June or July, mainly because I have too much work to do and not enough time to schedule anything beyond, well, work. So Tim Doughty has stepped up with the next wing campaign. And more than likely is going to have a $5 entry fee, but he's still deciding whether that's going to be true or not. The X-Wing campaign is uh, detailed in his file he put on the Tabletop Heroes underneath X-Wing Summer League text. Um, you can download it, read it at your leisure, and discuss it with Tim uh, through PM or through the board. We do have some more events coming up. Uh, at the end of this month, we have Memorial Day weekend, we have the X-Wing Rumble. City versus City! The Village Geek in McPherson is going to be running an event that will allow that will pitch you against other people from other cities around the region. I do believe they have almost six different cities going to be represented, uh, which is more than last year because we had Wichita, McPherson, Manhattan, and Kansas City last year. This year they're going to have even more. Uh, what and how this is going to work is we need six players to commit to the date and represent Wichita to defend the title because we took it home last year. This year I would like to see come back to us again the uh, the way it works is as one once if one person from each city will be in each pod the at the end of the day the one the city with the most points win points come through the tournament system will be the winner of the uh, the bragging rights and will bring home the virtual trophy that will be on May 28th at 11 a.m. At the Village Geek. Now, the Village Geek is a great store. It has back issue comics. It has paintball. It has X-Wing. It has board games. It has play space. It does a lot of good stuff for the local community. It was. It's one of the better, one of the better gaming stores in in Kansas. Now, now I'm not saying say anything against ours. It's just one of the better stores in Kansas. And I'm sure they love that plug. So make sure if you ever get into McPherson, go to the Village Geek. And geek out so the next event after that is going to be our rogue heroes on October 8th uh, the at 11 o'clock the registration starts and the dice hit the table at 12 I'm not moving those times the uh, grand prize for the rogue heroes is a $30 Warren gift certificate to go see rogue one the new X-Wing, dedicated X-Wing movie, that's probably your only one you're ever going to see. It's the Rogue One, um, the history, you know the Rogue Squadron, you know that Wedge Antilles, you know that Luke Skywalker, you know that um, Jack Porkins and Hobby Clyburn were all part of it. Now you get to see how it was built and how it was structured. The event itself will be just a standard tournament format uh, with a $30 gift certificate. It's going to have probably be a $5 buy-in at this point. It might climb to $10 buy-in. I don't know. Depends on what other price point I'm able to, uh, to get by that time. If it gets too, too expensive, we may not do it. But in, I'm thinking $30 more in gift certificate is not that hard to come by. So that event is in October. And then... We have been, as a group, invited back to Air Capital Comic Con. The Hall of Heroes will make its second year debut at the Air Capital Comic Con at Century 2. We'll pretty much be doing the same thing we did last year, but we're doing it with different games, different demonstrators, and hopefully more demonstrators this year than we had last year. The All I'm requiring of our demonstrators is a two-hour time slot. To demonstrate a game, if they want, if you want two for two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, I don't care. Just make sure you're there and on time. 
I'll be actually asking for more volunteers throughout the year or throughout the next few months. Make sure we have enough to go through that because I was there last year the entire time. And let me tell you, it can, uh, being there the entire time, the entire day, can get taxing. Although, I also ran Sedona Con last year. That was a, that was a three-day event. That was even more taxing. So please, please, if you're going to make sure, if you're going to be there, make sure you're going to be there. That is the it's only three events on my calendar right now. The next, the, what I do have, even though I'm not doing thing, anything June and July, I do have something in the pot. Something that is going to drive, probably drive me mad before everything goes uh, and it comes to fruition. I do have a venue selected. I'm trying to get that venue uh, to commit. Um, but beyond that, I cannot say much more than that. The... The people who know need, need to know, and the people who don't need to know, well, sorry. The group has been uh, going very, very strong for the last several years. We are up to 446 members now, and I do thank you all for joining and listening and watching the board and commenting and... discussing several different topics uh, of about gaming if you have any further suggestions of what you would like to do what other games you'd like to see played feel free to, to ask ask anybody here they will probably be a great this is a great resource to learn to find more, more players in the local area we are one of the larger groups in the area and I do believe that you know if you all you have to do is ask asking you shall receive as, 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 as the quote goes. So if you do that, you'll be uh, probably get more information you ever wanted. We do have uh, people in other other parts of the state who are part of the group. We have people in Manhattan. We have people in Junction City. We have people in Kansas City, uh, Hutchinson, uh, McPherson, Wichita, obviously. We probably even have people in El Dorado, Goddard, and maybe I do believe we even have someone from, uh, from Arc City. So if you are living anywhere, anywhere close to those areas, we also have Pratt. Uh, if you're anywhere close to those areas, make sure uh, to sell. Hey, hey, you know, I live in Pratt. Who else lives here? I mean, we do have we do have a, a, a reach, and we are becoming a regional uh, regional play group. So make sure you actually ask. If you have a game you haven't played in a while, I know that. Uh, one of my friends, he plays Dune a lot. He's like, I gotta get you around the Dune table. I'm gonna be more than happy to do it. Just let me know what day, um, and what you know, how long it's gonna take because you never know with my schedule for the next two months, it may not happen. So the uh, we do out you know, we do outreach programs with Cardboard Carnage as well. I mean, I can't say it up about how they uh, they're consistent on their tabletop university, their retro university. Their uh, the and Dominic's uh, head head every Tuesday night headshots. Those guys they they are dedicated to demonstrating games, teaching games, learning games. Uh, last night I I learned a new game myself. You know I have always, I've been striving to learn more and more games so that I can te te teach other people and, and to say hey, what kind of game do you like? Oh well you might like this one. Make sure you do it for yourself. Make sure you do it for your friends. Have your friends join. If your friends want to join, great. If they don't want to join, that's okay too. So I know that uh, a lot of gamers do like to play in, some, play in their own backyard. Well, I like to make the entire uh, state our backyard. So in closing, let's get the word out. Let's get some more members in the group and see what we can do. And remember... The madness is coming. Tabletop Heroes is...